Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Elden Ring walkthrough. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to be taking on Stormvale Castle. But before we do... Like always, let's talk about all the things I did off camera. Number one is I farmed up 564,000 runes. This is an absurd amount. You do not have to do this. I'm going to be extremely overpowered going into this castle. So if you don't feel like doing that, just skip it. Just whatever level you're at, as long as it's not extremely low, go ahead and go in there. But if you feel like farming up 564,000 runes, feel free. I also went ahead and equipped my lantern into my pouch. That way all I have to do is hold X and press left on the D-pad and it'll equip it. In equipment, I went and bought a longbow, upgraded it to plus three. I also put on some fire arrows. We're going to need those in a little bit. I equipped the Blessed Dew Talisman. Not a very good talisman. I just like using it at the beginning because it slowly restores your HP, but it is not necessary. I also went ahead and reallocated my flasks. That way I have one Cerulean Tear and then five um, Crimson Flasks. And that's all I did. Let's go ahead and level up. We're going to put Vigor up to 25, Endurance up to 25, Strength up to 25, and Dexterity up to 25. Faith and Arcane are going to be up to 15. We're not going to put any more stats into Arcane with this class. Unless you're playing as an arcane build, that is. We're going to go down these steps and grab an item. Then if we hop off right here, turn our lantern on. we can get ourselves another item. Get some fire grease. Across the way, you can kind of make out an item. We're going to be getting that shortly. We just have to circle around and come back to get it. We're going to meet an NPC here in just a second. This NPC has a very unique mechanic as when you die, he will steal some of your runes. So try not to die. You there, C come over here, won't you? you you're, you're tarnished, aren't you? I would advise against taking the main gate into the castle. It's tightly guarded by hardened old hands. Oh, tr tr try the opening right here. The guards don't know about it. You'll breach the castle undetected. Yes, that's the spirit. You're just the kind of tarnish that I like. I pray for your success. You can have him open up the front gate over here, but I would not advise it. We're going to be coming around a different path to open up that gate. That will be much easier. We're going to activate the summoning pool. Grab ourselves a golden rune one. 
Also, I did use all my runes as well in my inventory to help uh, get myself up that high. Or to help myself get that many runes. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm going to jump up here, but we don't want to fall down. We actually want to hop up the side of this wall. Pick up some smithing stones, or well, one, to level two. We're going to shoot this hawk. Oh my goodness. There we go. We're going to come over to the side here. We have two more hawks to take out. Hopefully this will go a little smoother than the last one. Take one out at a time. If you jump down there, you're going to have a bad time. I like to try to wait until they get caught on something and they're stuck to shoot them again. I like to lure them over here to the edge. And that usually trips up their AI to make them a little easier. Now uh, let's pull our bow out. We're not done with it just yet anyways. We'll hop down this way. We're going to veer off to the left. We're going to pick up this item that I was talking about just a minute ago that we had to circle around to get it. That's this item. That's over across the way where we were at. We got the fire grease. We're going to have to kill three more hawks. They do have a chance to drop their talons. It's kind of rare, but it does happen. I can't tell you how good they are because I don't normally use them. These hawks are so obnoxious. Anything flying in this game is very obnoxious. I'll just say that. There we go. Sweet, we got the Warhawks uh, Talon. Can't jump up that way. We're going to activate this summoning pool. Then activate this grace. And then up top there, if that guy sees you, he's going to, going to uh, sound an alert or blow on his horn, whatever. Just like so. You can get their armor. Their armor is the exile armor. Looks pretty cool. Take out this guy over there too. He'll run across in just a moment. He's going to try to climb the ladder. We can shoot him straight off of it. 
We're going to come inside here. Take those two guys out. Thought I was a little closer than what I was. Get the hook claws. Also, that guy can drop his axe. Along with all of these exiles can drop smithing stone twos. So if you're lacking on some smithing stone twos, you can always farm them from these guys. I like to get these guys to blow up this area first. Makes it a little easier. Don't go over there for that item. We'll get the item just a second. We're going to hop up here for some St. Trina's arrows. Climb the ladder. We're going to have two enemies up top here. Oh, no. One enemy up top there. I'm sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. Roll through these boxes. We have another servant over here. We're going to hop down real fast to grab this item. Just a golden rune. We can hop across right here. Come back around. Now right through this door we're about to open up. We're going to have to fight our first Banish Knight, and the door is going to close behind us. I like to use Wolfhound's Fang because it makes it a little easier. Well, it makes the fight a little easier, is what I was meaning. Get the Curved Sword Talisman. Along with the Rusty Key. We'll drop down right here. Pick up some throwing daggers and use the rusty key on this door right here. Climb the ladder. Jump across. Take this servant out. I always wait for that servant to throw a firebomb after taking the first one out and then I'll run across here. That way I don't get hit. We're going to jump across right there to this ledge. And here's where we have two enemies. There's this first guy and then right here there's an archer. Or an arbalist, whatever you want to call them. We get the brick hammer. We can hop down, take the path to the left because we have to climb the ladder again. Right here, you want to be very careful. There's a guy that can grab you. But if you just stay out of reach, he'll get caught up on that ledge. Okay. 
get the commoner's garb they have a chance to drop that get the silver pickled fowl foot that will um, up your item discovery whenever you use it for a short time the golden one will up your rune gain for every enemy you kill for a short time the golden fowl or four toed fowl foot whatever that item is <laughs> I always get caught up on the uh, item name. To the left, we are going to go down there shortly. But first, what we want to do is drop off this ledge. Be really careful. Inch off. I have had issues where I have been kicked right off of it. And have fell to my death. Which is no fun. No fun at all. Hop off. Grab an arteria leaf. Seems hardly worth it for an arteria leaf, but whatever. Now we're going to go take out this next banished knight. I find these ones to be a little easier. Come on, bud. We'll be going up those stairs in just a moment, but first, there's an elevator shaft that will be opening up, not in this episode, but probably in the next one. Actually, definitely in the next one. We want to touch the grace. We're going to jump across. Then jump across again. Get a draw string fire grease. That just allows you to apply fire grease a little faster. Be really careful. You're going to have two enemies up here. One's going to be behind you and it's going to be an arbalist. So just get ready to dodge. And then if you walk on this plank right here, and holy moly, that guy fell far. You can jump up on here. And then grab this item. We're going to veer off to the right here. Maybe. There's normally a uh, arbalist over here, but I guess... Okay. That's weird. There should be an arbalist over there for everybody else. I do not know why he is not right there for me. He must have glitched out. Got some Exile Greaves. Golden Rune 2. Get him to come down here. Jump back up there. Then we want to jump on these sandbags or... I don't know, piles of flour or something. I, I'm not sure what they are. And we want to jump across to this ledge. Be really careful not to fall. I don't think you'll die if you fall, but you won't be in the area that you want to be in. Grab ourselves a stone sword key. Now right below us is another hawk, but this one can spit fire at you. So you want to drop on top of it. And then try to hit it as fast as you can. Just do the best you can. 
By the way, I don't know if anybody can see this, but they have shackles piercing their wings, and that's got to be extremely painful. Along with those knives being tied to their feet. We get the dozing crossed legs. Emote. If we hop up on this, being very careful, we can hop up on this ledge. Come around it. Just inch across if you can. I go a little slower with this stuff. Because in real life, I am absolutely terrified of heights. Get two smithing stone twos. Well worth going over there. Down below are some rats, by the way. You can drop down and kill. If you have some soft cotton, it'll help brace your fall. We're not going to go down there. No real reason to. Hop up on this ledge. And we'll just keep following it around. So we get over here. We're going to run at this enemy. Kill him. And then come up the stairs. Because there's two arbalists across the way. And there's one exile knight. Or guard or whatever you want to call him. Something. Call him a jerk. Being so mean to us. We want to climb this ladder. If anybody's trying to farm up four-toed foulfoots or flight pinions or hawk pinions, this is the... I think it's hawk feathers, not pinions. But regardless, this is the place you want to farm them. There are a ton of eagles. Just a ton of them. Flight pinion, flight pinion, and then we get the claw talisman. Now, obviously, there's a better way to kill those eagles than the way that I did, but I was just letting everybody know. Let's fall down right here. And then... Pull out our bow. We want to take out the exile first. Before we take out the banished knight. This one has the halberd. So he's a little easier in my opinion. There you go. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Get some exile gauntlets. Some more exile gauntlets. And we'll grab the Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 10. You could even hop over here. Take out that whole area. But we'll save that for the next episode. That area has got a lot. I'm going to hop down this ledge. Then this one. You want to take down the one... In front first and then the guy with the axe so what we're about to do is we're gonna cross this wooden bridge lure out this knight here and backtrack just a bit we don't want to fight both of those banished knights at the same time You're asking for trouble if you do. Now we can take on the one with the Hellbred. Just be very careful not to get his attention as well. Like I said, you don't want to fight both of them at the same time.
Ooh. I'm sorry, sir. Took him out. Grab ourselves a festering bloody finger. You could hop down this way as well. And come around and take out a bunch of the enemies. But again, there's a better way. And you wouldn't want to miss some items now, would you? Even though they're just arrows. We'll grab this item. Right here, we can't open up this fog wall. But we will... In the next episode, we can jump, get a jumping R2, plunging attack on that guy. We have a... Exile Knight patrolling up top here. These guys are not hard to deal with. Got some Exile Armor. Smithing Stone 1, you should have plenty at this point. We'll get the attention of these three Exiles here. The ones holding the long torch slash spear, I think, are going to throw fire bombs at you. So be careful for that. I keep miscalculating on my range with those guys. It's quite annoying. So right here is how we can open up the main gate. Instead of having the guy tell the exiles to open it up, you can just open it up yourself. Light this grace. We'll get the commoner's simple garb. If you don't feel comfortable with the amount of crimson uh, flasks you have you can rest at this grace just know that all the arbalist or ballista um, exiles are going to respawn and you're going to have to dodge them so I recommend not sitting at that grace we're gonna come down here grab ourselves some items And then we can take those guys out. Maybe. Quit moving so I can shoot you. Ouch. Let's be sure to uh, dodge their crossbow bolts. You just jump up and kill him from behind the barrier or barricade that he has. Shield, whatever. Whatever it is, man. Good loady, Miss Wody. There's a lot of these guys, isn't there? I think that's all the items. Take this big axe boy out. He 
These guys aren't too smart. Now, this is the reason we have the Cerulean Flask. We're going to drink our Wondrous Flask of Physic. Then we're going to drink our Cerulean. Then we're going to summon in Latell. We're going to have to fight... I want to say it's a lion. It looks more like a lion than it does a tiger. It's got a huge mane. Wow. That was a horrible dodge, Mr. Wayne. They are extremely fast. I recommend having a summon in. Let's just drink a flask just to be safe. Latell is doing absolutely nothing. There we go. I would say easy peasy, but it is not. We get one sombering smithing stone one. We get some beast blood and we get an old fang. If we come up this way, we're going to a light a grace. We're not going to continue forward. That'll be after we beat the boss. We're going to fast travel back over here to the Rampart Tower. I'll see everybody over there. We're going to use our lantern again. Light this summoning pool. We'll pull out our bow. And this is where our fire arrows come in handy. We can kill the storm hawks without having to fight them. Well, I guess we're still fighting them, but we're using our smarts. We're smart. One of them dropped an item storm hawk feather. That's who drops the Stormhawk feathers. The Stormhawks, that makes sense. We're going to shoot these barrels over here. There's a Stormhawk hiding just across the way. We're going to come to this ledge here, and we're going to fall off. Come around. Fall off again. And then right over here. Just kind of follow this down. And right here, this is going to break. I'm going to fall f really far. But we won't die. You won't even take any damage. So that is a big plus. And we get the Ash of War Storm Assault. Hug the wall here. We're going to have a Crucible Knight walking out. First, we want to pick up the Sombering Smithing Stone 2. And run right past this Crucible Knight. Dodge if you have to. We're going to send this elevator up. We're going to have this Crucible Knight fall to his death. We 
get the aspect of the crucible horns. Well, it's the aspect of the crucible and it's horns. That's the easiest way to take care of this guy. You can fight him if you want, but if you don't have to, especially this early into the game, I wouldn't. This elevator will lead us right back up to the grace that we lit earlier and then where we killed all those Stormhawks. I think right about here is a good place to end. I would like to tell everybody first and foremost, thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.